previously on Final Fantasy 16. Get nuked! <laughs> Holy shit! Blow them the fuck up! By the gods! By Zeus's beard! <laughs> cool! And now back to Yoshi Peak Fiction. Hello! Stick up B! Back with some more Final Fantasy 16. When we last left off, we hop forward in time 13 years back to the present day where Clive alongside uh, his fellow bearer assassins are tasked with assassinating the dominant of Shiva. Unfortunately, it turns out that that dominant is actually his best pal Jill from back when he was a kid. Oh shit, damn it, by Ramu's beard. And of course Clive isn't gonna kill his best friend. So fuck you, Tiamat, eat shit, dickhead. Boom, dead. Uh-oh, everybody's coming to kill us now. Well, I guess we're we also about to die. Oh, holy shit, get fucking nuked. There's a new Sid in town, and he's hot as fuck, boy, damn. And his voice is like cocoa butter all over my naked body. God, Jesus Christ. Say more things to me, sexy Sid. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. So we get brought to his little neat hideout, help his fellow dudes with some uh, random chores, and then get recruited by Sid after he reveals some new information about an apparent dominant of fire being rumored to be nearby. Just the man Clive was looking for. And so now we're out here in the woods. Actually, hold on. Is that really why we're out here? Are we actually in the woods to look for him? Or was it more that there were so many things I read last episode? I'll make sure I got this right. It is. Okay. Word of a dominant fire spotted in a nearby village convinces Clive to set aside any misgivings he might have, have surrounding Sid and his motives and join the man though only for as long as his desire for revenge demands it. So interesting. But like I said, my theory is that Clive is that other dominant of fire. Like he always had it. And I don't know how that would work with the whole bloodline thing. Maybe he's not really like somebody else's kid. I, I have no idea. But I think that the person he's looking for is in reality his freaking self. And that maybe this other dominant of fire is actually Joshua, who's still alive. That's my current theory in super early game here. Not much actual uh, evidence to go with it. The only evidence I'd say I have is that at no point during the the moment we saw Ifrit like rampaging, attacking Phoenix, do we actually see Clive. There was a moment seemingly where he's watching as Ifrit is killing Phoenix, right? Like we're from his perspective, but we never actually see Clive, right? So that it, it already to me is immediately a little suspicious. I mean, I get that if we were from his perspective, Shouldn't we be looking through the eyes of Ifrit? But I, I don't know. I, it seems more kind of symbolic than anything of him watching unable to do anything to stop uh, Ifrit. But I could be completely wrong here. It might be as actually simple as it really appears to be and that there's just this other guy. But I think it's already pretty clear, even just from the promotional material, that there's something special about Clive, right? He's not just some normal dude or even just a basic bitch that uh, Joshua gives his his powers to, right? So I don't know exactly what that could be or why he's different, but I guess we'll uh, find out as we go along here. But uh, anyway, last episode, uh, Apollo said, Mother, why did Sonika Bizzle the Dino Sizzle upload the before noon? <laughs> <laughs> this comment made me crack up. I just, because when I read it, I just heard like a child's Britishy voice asking his mother, Mother, why did Sir Nico Bizzle the Dino Sizzle upload before noon? <laughs> well, honey, it's because this game is hella hype and he wanted to get that shit out as fast as fuck, boy. So hold on to your britches, Billy, because this is going to be one crazy fucking ride. Mommy, why are you cussing at me? Shut up, bitch, and watch the video. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was excited. I uh, I wanted to get it out as soon as possible. It's also a series that a lot of other people are going to be doing playthroughs of, let's plays of. Like I, I looked at my Twitch page and at the time of like recording this, and it was like everybody on the left side was just Final Fantasy 16 across the board. So I do want to just say uh, off the bat, if you are choosing to watch with me, I do really appreciate it. And if you are actually uh, enjoying this and you'd be willing to leave a like it really does go a long way to uh helping me out and potentially pushing this playthrough a little bit higher up because like i said everybody and their mom is gonna be playing this game making content around it so not to mention just everyone just play it even just casually right this is a big deal okay this is easily the biggest final fantasy mainline game to come out in a long freaking time 
that doesn't have like this huge massive caveat to it of horrendous development hell this game seems like it was well put together and it only I, this the, this beginning part has only sort of confirmed that thought that feeling dude when i got into final fantasy 15 and play that for the first time like i could see problems in the first like hour of the game <laughs> but anyway uh i'm getting off topic apollo thank you so much for your hilarious and accurate comment I don't know if that's going to be necessarily a trend or not in the future, but I'm just really excited about this game. So maybe videos might come out a little earlier than usual for when I have these. I don't know. We'll see. But it is that reason you are coming to the day. By the way, another thing you guys point out to me that I didn't really notice uh, among the UI here uh, was in regards to the abilities. If you go over here and then you press triangle on it, it gives you way more details about uh, each move. Like for Burning Blade, uh, Devil Imbues, uh, class with the sword with the flame of the Phoenix, can break an enemy's guard, will lift small enemies when executed in midair, can parry enemy attacks with time precisely. And then it tells you too, if, what, what happens if you master it? Reduces required time to imbue Blade with Fire, battle techniques, which I think is like the extra bonus thing. It can give you like also bonus EXP and damage and stuff. Strike with a Burning Blade while on the ground, aerial while in the air. So there are these for pretty much all of these moves. So that's really good. That's thank you for pointing that out because that did not actually occur to me. I was kind of wondering, like looking at this at, at the outset, because you don't really see what mastering even does to this. So like, what does it do for the enemy jump? Oh, increases maximum kicks to two. Nice. I haven't even really tried that, honestly. Actually, actually doing the uh, enemy stomp. Oh, and another thing. Uh, it seemed like generally you guys were okay with me reading the the lore of this game. Apparently, a lot of other people are kind of skipping over it, which, I mean, I, I kind of get it. It is a lot, but I find it very fascinating and enjoyable. I think that the world building in this game is really impressive. So if you guys are enjoying it, then I'm glad. That, that makes me happy. I don't want to bore anybody, you know, if it, it is beginning to be a bit too much. Though I suppose people could probably just skip over it if it ends up, you know, taking too long. But like I said, I'm just going to read out the ones that I think are, like, interesting or have, like, a good amount of plot relevance. Not necessarily maybe every bit of fluff dialogue, because there there is a lot of, like, fluff about uh, certain areas and stuff that I don't think necessarily, like, it's really, like, we really need for every single one. But, but I'll read as much as I think is, like, pretty important to what's going on and helps to clarify any big lingering uh, questions that we might have. So, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm finding the world building to be uh, very good. But okay, this area is very pretty. Like, insanely pretty. Like, you get close to the... Does this stuff move? It does! Holy shit, yes. Moving foliage, I love it. Woo-wee! Oh, that, that, that frame rate, though. Frame rate's definitely dropping a bit. Not a huge deal. <laughs> I mean, to be honest... We, they, we've we've dealt with this so many times before. Like, remember Kingdom Hearts three? Remember the the original ver, uh, release of that on the PS4? That game, that game, fucking shug. That shit was not a solid 60 FPS. Not until it came to uh, the PS5. Ugh. Oh, it's a walking. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Oh yeah, shotgun. Oh, step the fuck out of it. Woo! Did I make like an A when I jumped on him? Oh no, it was, a, it was an after blur. Oh, ugh. New enemies approaching. Holy shit. Yeah, I see. So the super uh, powered up move of this ugh, launches dudes in the air. Oh, uh, doggy. Doggy's got moves. Sick him, boy. Oh, yeah. Heal me, doggy. Woo! Level up. We still have a way to go. I assume there must be like a cooldown on like the healing from your dog. That's so cool. I love that he can heal me. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. You are a good boy. Let me wait. Hold on. All right. No, stop backing away from me, doggy. I wish to love you. Stop, stop it. <laughs> you come here. Let my head face, my hand face through your head. And also just kind of float around your, around your face. Whatever. It's good enough. But seriously, the detail of this environment is actually insane. Like it doesn't have, it doesn't seem like it has that problem with where a lot of other games have where like the leaves and stuff look like super like not detailed. 
Like, I just look up, and I feel like I count each individual leaflet hanging above me. Which is probably why the game is slowing down a bit here. God damn it. Sidolf! Sidolfus, you are a good-looking man. Anyone ever tell you that? You, you definitely got some, like, Daddy Dunban energy about you. Mm. Yeah, boy. I like the music in this area. More evil doggos. What the fuck is that? Arrgh! Holy shit, is that an adamantois or whatever they're called? What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Wait, do I check my lore? Oh, he's not here. Oh, I probably should still check it for the Great Wood. A vast forest in the southwestern part of Sambrech. A wildlife thrives here, but the delicately balanced ecosystem has been thrown into a disarray in recent years by the encroachment of the blight and the beast driven before it. So dangerous has it become that travelers rarely venture here anymore. Looking for food. No more wolves where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of storm to fall to the blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. <laughs> the dog's like, hey! Let's try and stay out of its path. Oh, by the way, something else I noticed while I was looking through here. Uh, the doggo has his own uh, set of attributes here. So seemingly he can also level up. Pet attributes! Pedigree affects Torgal's attack potency and increases as Torgal accompanies Clive in battle. Cool. He gets stronger uh, moves as well. Remember when I said the Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. What if this game has like uh, elemental weaknesses? Like these guys are plants, so would the fire be like effective on them? Ugh. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Damn, boy. That's Woo! Damn. That looks so sick. Uh, 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 yeah. My wounds, boy. My wounds, boy. Damn, boy. Well, that's the underground sorted. It's a very light heal. The doggos heal. Not like a ton, but it's something. Can he heal me while out of a fight? I'm not sure if he can. <laughs> Doggo, not feel like healing right now. You not in danger. That only tiny pip of health you are. You lost. Yeah, but you know, we're out of the fight, so... No! You heal yourself! You worry about self, Clive! Come on, Togo. Be a good boy and heal... Heal your owner. Cry me a river! That's just big baby boo-boo. You get over it! Mm, you're a lot nicer when you were a puppy. Just for that, no Togo snacks for you. Wait! No! You don't say you denied me Togo snacks! No! Come back! Just gonna squeeze through here. Go ahead and squeeze through through the loading zone here. Thank you kindly. Actually, I don't think it's a loading zone. I think it's just. I think we're I think we're starting to get past that now, that because the power of this the PS5 or you know solid state drives. The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? Cool. Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. But it can wait. Come on. Mind your head. Mind your head. Pretty. I like this game has a, at least has a color palette. I mean, granted, some of the areas have been pretty gray, but I mean, they're literally like in castle areas, but when we actually had nature, like, it's saturated, you know? It looks good. It's not all dirt and gritty and, you know, gray. Like a lot of games in like the 2010s could be. Ah. That's some good soaking music, I tell you right there, bot. Uh-oh. 
Stop admiring the view and get down here. Shut up. I am down here. The music stopped, Sid. That can't be good. Let's go back. The music is back up that way, Sid. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I need an enemy so I can hop up there. Sid, I don't mean to alarm you, but I think we're about to be jump scared. Oh, I told you. Bird thing. What the fuck is that? A wife in Oh, hey, I used to be one of those. Ha <laughs> ha, shut up, shut up. That was my joke. Yeah! Woo, yeah, boy. Woo, yeah. Ba da 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 da. Give me your money, Wyvern. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. Well, I'm all burning. I'm all burning. Am I okay? Am I supposed to be like this? Is that a lingering effect or something? Oh, I. Oh, dude, I take the. I think I took the strength potion. Without even realizing it. I was smacking the button so much to get the dog to do something. I think I might have switched back to my items and pressed it. Well, it appears we won't be going this way. I'll admit I hadn't counted on that. Huh? <gasps> what is it, boy? What is it? Cookies over here! What is it, boy? Animal instinct. Why trust in your own animal instinct when you have an actual animal at your side, you dummy? If you're lost, press L3 and let Torgo point you in the right direction. And Thanks, Torgo. These woods. Thank you, Torgo. But you didn't notice the treasure over here, Torgo. No, you failed as Doggo. I'm just kidding. I could never be mad at you. You can pet the Doggo. Ah, uh, pet Torgo five times. He fucking deserves it, all right? Unlike you, player, you don't deserve the scratches that he gets. A little bugs flying in the air over here. Yeah, the detail is crazy. Uh oh. We got more friends. Hi, guys. Oh, shit. Like this wolves. is stupid! Rabbits them! Oh, I think the, the heal that Toro gives me is actually a regen. Yeah. It's a slow regen. Oh, get him, doggo! We did what had to be done. Cool. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No. No, it doesn't. Show me the way, doggo. Ah. <gasps> Who's a good doggy? <laughs> oh, he keeps like trying to step out of my way. <laughs> when I only want to love him. <laughs> Actually, now think about it. Did I uh get enough for any kind of? Upgraded my abilities? Oh, I definitely did. Hmm. I could save up for one of these. I think I'm actually going to save up for this. This magic burst, because magic bursting seems to be very important. So it's R2 immediately after laying a melee hit. And sometimes the timing for it can be a little like tricky. This will increase the uh, the trigger window for it. I only need a few more points to get it. Because that one is all about, that's what you use to build up your stagger on the enemies. Uh oh. Ah shit, so much for staying out of its way. Hey buddy, how's it going? Any chance we could just not? That's all sharp. 
You'd better hope so. This shouldn't take too long. So much for your shortcuts. Well, still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a damn sight quicker if you help me. My thoughts exactly. Oh shit. Fuck! Too slow. Too slow. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Interesting, I noticed the heal also affects Sid. Does he actually have an HP bar? I don't see anything. Might just be more for show than anything. Ah, I don't have to worry about Sid actually like dying. Uh. 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 Showtime. Actually, I should probably do the move that hits mo a number of times first, and then do the other one. So I because the more hits you hit, do the more. Uh... Whoa! Oh, rolling, rolling, rolling. Ha! Uh, the more hits that he takes, the more damage you do. Oh shit! What if we kill him first? Ah! Can't check my lore in the middle of a fight. Damn it! What's this thing even called anyway? Can't shoot him, he's moving too fast. Ah! Oh, God. Fuck. Damn, I'm just, I can't get these fucking dodges in. Yeah, I'm just, I'm moving too early. There we go. Ah, too way too late on that one. My wounds, boy. There we go. Uh, this one. Ah, oh, fuck, I did the wrong one. Ah, oh, whatever. Fafnir of the North slain. Okay, well, there you go. Nald scale. Thank you. Owie, owie, oxen free. Oh shit, Sid's gonna nuke this bitch. Ah, yeah, so he's a, he is an, a dominant as well. Oh! Ho, ho. Looks like the. Look, I'm guessing to be the dominant of Ramu. <coughs> Ooh. You're dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody realm of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones realm who saw fit to home. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. Well, what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? 
I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a of choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Okay. They're all bloody. Oh, I see. That that health, that like gray health up there, it slowly regenerates over time. I see. Actually, yeah, maybe that's maybe it wasn't a regen that I got after all then from uh, from puppers. It actually, it might have just been the gray health. I don't know, because he won't heal me out of a damn fight. It's Adolphus Telamon, founder and leader of the hideaway where he and his comrades labored to liberate bears and dominance from servitude. A life that Sid knows all too well as he bears the burden of being the dominant of Ramu, Warden of Thunder. No longer does he fight for any one nation, but for all the people of Alicia. Interesting. Clive, what exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant of the fight? Kicking his what ass. What do you think? I'll show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. Forest dark enough as it is. Two bloody hides. Two fucking us. <laughs> is there actually a local map for this area? Actually, I don't think there is. It doesn't seem like there's always going to be a map for each area. Just some areas. Oh, hello there. No, it is a regen. I'm I'm looking at it now. There's no gray health, and I'm getting. I, I think. Actually, I'm not sure how this heal works. That time I did it, and it didn't do anything. I don't know if there's actually a way for me to look at the how his his healing works. Uh, I don't think there is. Oh, and I got enough for my thing though. Magic burst. That should help. We follow her upstream, and we'll be in Lost Wing in no time. In no time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Ah, that time I got them all in a row. Is it? Yeah. You got to be pretty quick. Oh, Sid is using his lightning skills now more often. I think before he was kind of hiding it for me until that last fight. Oh, man. Staggered the fuck at him so fast that time. Uh, uh, ah, get that shit out of here. Yeah, combat's hella fun, man. Looks so cool. Some devil ass, devil may cry shit, I tell you what, Bobby. Quiet. It's a dude! The Royal Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. Oh, is that Benedicta? And? They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. Ow. We move. Understand? Have I not proven loyal? Uh oh. Ugh. It is true, my liege values loyalty above all else. <laughs> but were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? Oh. Ah! Sure, just not said anything, bro. Intelligences. If we can capture her. You! Weapons on the ground, Imperials! 
Don't forget me! Oh, hiya. Oh, fuck this. Let's get this over with then. Yeah. Let's beat some ass. Let's go. At least they're not giant lizards. Ow. It's over. Oh, it's over, bitch. Ow. Nice to sit. Uh. Woo, yeah. Oh, this guy. I think this guy is using the power of Benedict's wind. Because she's like the icon of Garuda, right? Uh. Uh. Uh oh Action time! Cinematic clash! When the screen flashes orange like this during a pivotal moment, repeatedly tap R1 to uh, either press or fend off an attack. <laughs> Harder to mash R1 than it is mash square. Might have to adjust my, just use my thumb for that. Uh Ah! Fuck you. Don't you demon touch me. Coming in hot. Uh oh. Oh, he's zipping. Let's not get hit by that move again. Coming in. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, that was some damage. That's the shit. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Get that sword out of here. Not this time. Not this time. See you, bitch. Good night, Midnight Raven. <laughs> cool. Well, that was a fun ass fight. We got a badge of might. Word of soldiers for unparalleled displays of courage on the battlefield. Feeling of accomplishment is accomplishment in kindles in the recipient's heart is thought to enhance future performance. Somehow. Oh, fucking dead. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps get some new clothes. Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria. And one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, come on, lighten up, Clive. Speaking of which... How can you not like I that man? Wonder. Does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the one law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Hmm. The Royal Intelligencers.
An elite unit of Royal Knights of Willowed, led by Bendik de Harmon. Oh, by the way, the yeah, the, the Barnabas was the name is the name of the king, right? Her king. That's why they were talking about the relationship. And Hugo is the dominant of Titan. I know I sort of clarified that last episode, but I just want to say that again because I was my I was getting myself confused last time. Led by Bendik de Harmon, who led clandestine incursions deep into the territory of enemy nations for myriad purposes. Espionage and assassination chief among them. Oh, good. And look, it even brings up again the, the blessing of the Phoenix, like he says. So cool, dude. It's amazing how this thing upgrades or, or uh, updates. Fire has always had just the one warden, as of all the rest. A new one can't be born until the previous dies. And even that can take years. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. And they're in Lost Wing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. Because <sighs> we stole all their shit. Darker's like, whoa, but I don't, I like to eat dumb. <laughs> Stage replay in arcade mode. Arcade mode? Stage replay in arcade mode are now available in the hideaways. Already stone. Enter the virtual basket for details and out on each of the new options. Well, that's interesting. Arcade mode. I guess when you just don't want to play the story or something. Can I actually go back here? Oh, I can. Oh, let me, let me head back here real quick. We're back. New items are now available with Karen, Karen's toll. New crafting recipe is available at the Black Hammer. Look what the curl dragged in. Hey, how's it going? Taking an interest, are you? Wondering why such a comely, cultured lady would cast her love with this rabble. But she's got a special arrangement with the rabble rouser, that's why. I scratched his back and he scratches mine. Use me old trading connections to bring in whatever him and his little band need, and they pay what I Could ask. sweeten the deal. He's given me a home here, far from the prying eyes of those who'd wish me ill. There's no shortage of them, believe you me. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Be quick about it. I'm gonna buy a long sword, but it's actually weaker by default. Because I, uh, because I increased the broadsword by two. But I can probably upgrade the, the long sword to be stronger, so... Oh, well, I can get a travels, uh... Travels bands. It's better I'll be here. Yeah, let's get the long sword. I wonder how much you can upgrade a singular weapon. Maybe only up to plus two. Looks that way, but this one can get stronger, so. Upgrade? Best work, but it'll do. You can find upgrade. Me later. Oh, I think my did my sword change? It actually might have. Hold on. Actually, I could check. If I switch out my weapon, because I still have my other one. Oh, it is! Cool. Okay, so my armor won't change, but my weapon will at least. I don't know if my buckles change. Like if I have, if you see my sash, I don't think so. Well, that's good. I'm glad there's at least a uh, weapon changing. Like the weapons look different. That's a pretty basic one, but at the very least has a little something. Arcade mode. We're playing any previously cleared stage and be rewarded, awarded a score based on performance. Restrictions on level gear consumables are applied. Gameplay mode will, will default to action focused. You rechallenge this previously challenged level score. Points are awarded for performance of battle. The more complex your battle techniques, the higher your score. The higher your score, the better your overall rating. Successfully performed battle techniques are displayed in real time on the right hand of the screen. Technique scoring is as follows. <laughs> Rainbow! Arcade mode gear. While level consumable items and gear are predetermined for each stage, iconic abilities can be customized to one's liking. Also, equipment restrictions do not apply to, ex to accessories. Is there a reason to do this? Oh, and so you can turn the cutscenes off. That's cool. I guess just to get to get high scores, just for funsies. We're playing a previously cleared stage, but at current level, treasure coffer data is retained. Oh, okay, so you can't go back and re-pick up chest, but items on the ground are still fair game. It seems like the items on the ground are usually less significant, like like potions and uh, maybe occasionally like materials. While accessing the ready stone, Clive can replay any of the main scenarios, major battle sequences. This mode could be used to revisit cutscenes, collect forgotten items, earn EXP and AP, or retry missed achievements. Makes sense, because a lot of the game, at least at the start here, is pretty linear, and it seems like it's not really easy to just go back and, like, to another place that you've been to. So this lets you do that, in case 
you were like, ah, shit, apparently I missed some really good item back at, uh, back in the Great Wood. Uh, does it actually heal me while I'm back here? I think it does, yeah. Actually, wait, let's go talk to the old man. I need to level up my lore level. By the way, you guys point out, the, the guy that I serve food over here, this dude, absolutely 100%. You dung had so many uses. Is there something else? It's absolutely fucking Noah from Xenoblade 3. Harry McIntyre, you're fucking right. Say something else. Come on. I talked to everybody by accident. You can't just have one line. Damn it. But yeah, go listen to that last episode when I gave him his food. It's absolutely him. Good day. Good day to you. I've got more things to tell you. I'm kind of curious to see what happens when I level him up. Ah, damn it. Okay, so Benedict Harmon with their Royal Intelligencers, a commander of the Kingdom of Willode's elite intelligencers and a true scholar of the Blade who leads her loyal minions from the front. After attending the negotiations with the Delmex at the Zernitra stronghold, where she crushed the hopes of the Republican army while encouraging those of Hugo Kupka, she parted company with her liege lord in order to lead a secret incursion into Imperial territory. Oh, I see. Karen wears a glass eye in her right socket. That's what it is. And Goats is an apprentice to Karen. That's, so that, that's who he keeps referring to as Nan. The Fallen, an ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics, said to be the remains of airships that once soared through the skies, can be found across the length and breadth of Valacia. Since highway is but one of many settlements to take a fallen ruin as its foundation, taking advantage of the sturdiness of the ceramics, which are stronger than steel. They are not, however, immune to the passage of time, and so the hideaway is in need of constant repairs. Hmm, I see. So this thing that we saw before is like that. So what are you, Fafnir of the North? An ancient dragon adapted exclusively for life on the ground, and as such is encased in a thick, bony armor. Though its kin once claimed dominion over the Northern Territories, the spread of the blight inevitably forces once gentle giants south in search of prey. Aw. Aw. I'm sorry, dude. I had to beat your ass. All right. Back to where we need to go. Can I actually go back here? No, I can't. Orbel Downs, the idyllic plains that stretch across the southern reaches of the Holy Empire are sparsely populated, unless one knows where to look. Some time later. The Holy Empire of Sunblock. So much for arriving before sunset. <sighs> I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. The fuck is that? Those flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Ooh. Obelisk. Tuning with an obelisk allows Clive to travel quickly to the location via both the world map and local map. Clive only need to approach an obelisk to attune with it. Cool! Waypoint! Louder than words. While traveling through the Great Wood, Clive and Sid happen upon a small party of a lowered, loader intelligencers captained by, captained by a woman from Sid's past, Benedicta Harmon. Left with more questions than answers, the pair continue on to Lost Wing. Lost Wing. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as waymarks. Yes, indeed. That's what the tutorial said, Clive. Open up a detailed... Oh, okay. This area has a, a local map. It does seem a little random about which ones actually have it. I like the little fireflies. Oh! Ooh, hey, I can run faster. There we go. And I guess in also in bigger areas, I can run more quickly, which is nice. <laughs> Uh-oh. There are also enemies around here. Bum, 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 bum. That definitely sounds like a uh, main battle theme to me right there. It's very reminiscent of, like, some of the older games. It's got the same, like, I swear the same timing to it. Like, Final Fantasy VIII and Final Fantasy IX, the dun 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 I'm sure that's what they were trying to harness. 
Figures up ahead. But are they friends or foes? Uh, definitely foes. Seeing as I see a level over his head. Ooh, oh good, two whole box. Oh man, try not to spend it all in one place, Clive. Seems like I could, actually, I could actually run around these guys if I wanted to, but fuck that. Let's beat and eat ass. <laughs> uh, uh, stop the shave. These dirty peasants know your place. I'm gonna stomp on you. Uh. Don't let them get away. Holy shit, God, these guys got fucking melted. Uh. I call Dipset. Uh. Uh. Level me up. Randos. Uh. More will losers. Why? What is it they want? You're welcome to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> Lost Wing, the Holy Empire of Sandbrech. No sign of the Royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet, even for this hour. What do we do now? First, we look for my scouts. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout? <laughs> Subtle. He's so cool. <laughs> He's so funny. I don't even know what he looks like. Yeah, should you give me like a code word or something, dude? I love the this orange lighting. How cool that is. The village can't be completely abandoned. Hopefully they didn't wake the village up. Uh oh. Turtle's growling at something. What is it, boy? I don't see anything. You miss me? I'm flattered, but let's stick to the plan, eh? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> that sounds like a child. <laughs> Hello, child! It's all right. I'm not one of them. My friend and I, we're... with the Imperial Army. And we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In... in the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here? Until then. To the church, then. These abandoned buildings. Like Rat! Drink! Ooh, look at all these. You got to find stout here. And some smoked kippers they got. Mm, let me some smoke him as I do. Damn, it's dark as fuck, boy. Hopefully this isn't absolutely crushing the YouTube bit rate. It actually probably is. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog. Dog. Hey, how's it going? About time. Stand back. Stand back. Oh. <laughs> Who the hell are you? You the elephant, eh? Clive. 
<laughs> Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. <laughs> we yelled that. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. <laughs> it's alright, he's with me. Thought you were joking. Is this everyone? No, there were others. A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was old in a sign. Hey, parents, the little girl. Uh oh. Hey, how's it going? I'll give you one guess where he's going. Clive, after him. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. You better run. Bitch. Uh, uh, uh. Burn her, turn, turn, turn. Damn, it was a long tunnel we came down. What happened to the little girl? She okay? I sort of was looking for her parents that got kind of sidetracked with other shit. Any word from the scouts? <laughs> Not yet, my lady, but we have the Dominant's companion. It's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Dominant's companion, huh? Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Cair Novent. Some may still be worth keeping, should the Dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> my sex. To our lady of <laughs> And the king! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> the Lady Benedicta, Imperials! Hey, how's it going? And instead of killing them, you lead the rats straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> oh, well. Damn, she's just killing everybody. Yeah, but hey, I was gonna do that. Look Hi. What we have here, boys. An imperial bearer. God, I was getting bored. Uh oh. Boo. Ow! Woo! Well, hello there. Wait, did... Isn't that just Garuda? Like normal Garuda? Dogs, oh. What is that thing? This means what I think it does. And Sid has some explaining to do. Sid, you got some explaining to do. Yeah, he wasn't aware that she was a dominant. The only reason I was aware of it was from the promo, the promotional material. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Get him, boy! Get him, boy! Shit. Uh oh. By the way, oh god, I jumped back into it because I'm an idiot. My wounds, boy. There we go. You better be on your way, Sid. Oh, big damage. Yeah, now we're doing some fucking work here.
Got him. Sharada. Huh, finally have to get in a lot of experience with that fight. Oh, shit, I should be, uh, increase, whoa, healing, increase the healing potency of potions by 20%, that's insanely good. At, gl at glance, it appears to be a holy relic able to get, channel the power of the divine to curative energies. It actually contains the dust of a light aspect of crystal, known for to be a catalyst for the restorative arts. I forgot, I, I did equip my other accessory that I got before. You've got some fight in you, even for a branded. Clive! <laughs> Look who's here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. Hmm. So, Sidolphus. Previous allies. Remind me. Why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked you a question, Lord Commander. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Her branded? Gav, Sid's faithful scout who puts his legendary nose to work at tracking the movements of slave soldiers and any other objects of interest to the hideaway. The ever agreeable fellow only too gladly delving behind enemy lines if he can get a good story or two out of it. Lost Wing, a settlement located in central Sambrek on the northeastern edge of the Great Wood. Having initially found prosperity as a stopover point for traveling traders, it fell from favor when newer, better roads bypassed it and eventually fell off the map entirely. The village is built both in and around fallen ruins that the people of Lost Wing claim was once called an airship. Lady Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Holy something is new. Whoa! And they're gone. And she's gone. <laughs> That's why I just fucking said Sid. Did she say where she was going? No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just... Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <sighs> hmm. So they clearly have a history together. Makes sense. I mean, we saw her earlier and she did remark <laughs> that that was Sid. So, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. I thought we were hiding the bastard. Like any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offense. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the yeah. same thing. Yeah. This is our room, yeah. innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't help when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. <sighs> oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the boat. Whose tamed worms a thousand and slain the Spoony Bard! One hundred full legions the young dragoon led And watched as a million foes turned tail and fled His lance levels mountains it spawned as the deep The skies over storm breaks for Listen, Clive. 
Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me. And I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch. And bring peace to my brother's soul. Interesting. They, they, um, they said that they actively... They didn't realize they were actively hiding a, a monster, right? And they were like, no offense, right? Meaning that there was a dominant there. Hmm. But was it Joshua? After that... Whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be a slave, then. Glug, 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 glug. <sighs> ah, slurp the shit out of that. Meanwhile... Karen Ovent. This radiance would have us believe the Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> While Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions, could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Ah. Oh. Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within you lies the power to slay gods. The phoenix perished in your flames. Mm. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Ah, interesting. Okay. Okay. So, there was a person there. That is a separate human being, and seemingly, maybe it isn't uh, Joshua again. Crystal fetters. A restraining device for bears of dominance that uses precisely arranged and activated shards of crystal to disrupt the flow of ether through their flesh, thus preventing them from priming or casting magics. So valuable are the materials from which they are made, and so rare the skill required to craft them, there are very few specimens in existence, and they're only employed when absolutely necessary. Karen Ovent, an imperial stronghold located along the southern fringes of Sambroqua territory, far from its capital of Oriflam. It occupies a key strategic position adjacent the Crystal Belt and is suitably formidably fortified as a result. Within its walls, there are living quarters, a church, a jail, and sufficient storehouses to see the occupants through a lengthy siege. Interesting. Hmm. The face does seem to be... Like, it still looks like that little bit of tuft of hair, right? Like young Clive was, right? I don't know. Might be a little off here, though. If it's not, I mean, technically, it's another person, right? Assuming that this isn't Joshua, right? And the other person was Imagine, but technically, the other person did also have this same hood. So, it, might, it really might just be that this is just a completely separate individual. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> Uh oh. Let's see if they say anything. My offer still stands. May hear their voice. Join us, and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Ow! Lord Margrace, don't. Margrace? I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. Didn't hear a voice. Okay, Lord Lord Margrace. Interesting. Okay, that is definitely leaning to more towards this is just a different person. Clive. Mm. Wake up. Gav's back. You find her ass? 
her sexy ass. Mm. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well... When you put it that way... <sighs> Suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. Yeah, she's the I one won't. with fucking Ramu. Alright. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he, he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it. Do you? No. Dead of Night. The story progresses. New weapons and items will be available at the Hideaway's training post. No, yep. Settled. There's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope of getting a decent night's kip. Dead of Night. The dominant fire has fallen to the hands of Benedict's intelligencers and Clive. Sid and Ga Gav must scramble to gather information on the core's whereabouts. Uh, merchant. What can I interest you in today? Yeah, you just got the same bullshit. I can purchase meteorite from him though, which is pretty good. Valley matter. I hope it's to your liking. Oh, he only had one though. Ah, oh, yes. What in the fuck? Idols of Imp Empire Orchestron Roll. A tower slip of parchment upon which a has been hastily scrawled several bars of music and the title Idols of the Empire. The melody seems familiar, but the author is unknown. As you saw, Jesus Christ, for only a casual 40,000 bucks. You're always welcome here. Oh, wait. Make sure I quit my shit. Keep forgetting. Uh, Clerics and Medallion. This seems insanely good. And a uh, badge of might. You're the kind man who saved mummy. Thank you. I don't know if I actually did anything, to be honest. I think I, like, I watched in the church, and then suddenly it cut to the other thing. So, I, I don't know. I feel like I just... <laughs> I think you guys did that all yourself. To be perfectly honest. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Quentin here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? Then he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. That's not like Christopher Lee. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. 
As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. Was it alcohol? What? Seal, you accept the hanged man from Quint. May the mothers guide you. The fuck? Tarot ship? This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find our dominance. Your choice. Let's see if this thing really works. Gathering fish from the villagers. Oh, chest. Histoire, uh, histoire, uh, scroll, some kind of scroll. Just got another item, but I kind of went, went by so fast that I didn't see what it was. Black blood. Oh, it can be traded for Gil. Gotcha. Bloody cowards. Bloody cowards, I tell you, I'll put a good ladder. Is that a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today, getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did... I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. Poor buggers. Poor bugger. These others. Was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? <sighs> Only that you weren't alone was a young maid who went wherever he did, including the church, and wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. Huh. Okay. So what's up with Quentin, anyway? The inscrutable landlord of Lost Wings Tavern and leader of the village. Alliance. Those who do not call the hideaway their home, but nevertheless learn their strength to sit's cause. There are many in the twins who balk at the persecution of bearers, but cannot find... Within them, the courage to oppose it, knowing what fate awaits them should their sympathies be exposed. Others take that risk, aiding Sid's bare, Sid's bare liberation efforts with information sent by Stolas, monetary assistance, or direct action. Marks. Emblems that Sid's allies distribute to those in their circle of trust. It is common for rich and powerful of Valsia to pin such marks to the bearers in their possession that the slaves might go about their master's business unmolested. Lost Wing, a settlement located in central Sandbrook on the northeastern edge of the Great Wood. Having initially found prosperity at a stopover point for traveling traders, it fell from favor when newer, better roads bypassed it and eventually fell off the map entirely. Presently, its obscurity serves as a cover to mask its burgeoning status as a safe haven for bearers who work the nearby vineyards for, for Quentin. Elderman and co-conspirator of Sids, while casts of Gauntlet Roge, aged in Lost Wing cellars, Provide the village with much needed income. Ah, gotcha. So this whole area is literally just a in a big a big area, a big alliance uh, for uh, for Sid. I'm just kind of surprised that Clive isn't like questioning Sid, you know, in regards to how he knows Benedicta and stuff. And that's all you can remember. Think hard. I already told you. He was gone before any of us could get a good look under that hood of his. What did he look like? Ah. Master Quinson took a lark into you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot of bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. 
Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. See, the thing is... I wonder if Sid's found anything. The thing you have to question, right, is like, why are they hiding his face? If it's just some dude, right? Just some dude that we're not supposed to know. Why go out of their way to hide his face? So you gotta think about like what the plot reason is for that. So that's why I'm thinking it's like somehow connected to Clive or somebody we'd recognize at this point or something. I suppose it could just be, well, it's just to hide his face from passerbys and stuff, but we, the, you know, the player also don't know what his face is. So and that to me seems significant. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. No. Why do you think I'm scowling? So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but... But... I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalist to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back, and I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? Hmm. Interesting. Quentin Flynn! Now, about those beds. Beds? I seem to recall your request being to spend the night. And for that, the floor will more than suffice. Well, shit. Better than a wet rock, I suppose. <sighs> thanks. My thanks, Quentin. Next time you're at the hideaway, our floor's all yours. Ha! No need for thanks, Sid. This isn't an act of charity. You don't say. In exchange for my floor, I shall be requiring your services. Fuck it, I'll sleep outside then. saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. Let's go in there and smack the shit out of it. The following evening. Well, that took longer than expected. First time dismantling the barricade. Oh, did it, it off gets screen? Easier. Don't worry. I won't. If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. There's no fucking time. The road south then? Unless. I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. We also got a way over here. Read the hymns of Gregor, or Gregor. And thus did Gregor summon her together her two and seventy spirits of light and tell them of the holy heralds she would send to the world below, for there was much strife and suffering, for which she wept. Rejoice, she said, for my heralds, who are a part of me and who are me, shall be as bread unto the starving, as water unto the thirsty, and shall bring light where there is only darkness. Weep not, my children. Weep not, my children. Hello. Mysteries of Vinification While some winemakers will remove the skins of grapes after pressing, leaving both skin and seeds in the juice to commingle creates a must that is best suited for extended aging, ultimately resulting in a more refined wine. Then once the wine calms and settles sufficiently, the skins are removed and the must is then transferred to wooden barrels of oak and chestnut, which by allowing air to leach into the wine, impart deepened levels of complexity, introducing rich aromas and improving texture, all while lessening bitterness. Thank you, that was... That, I, 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 I really wanted to know about how... The, the, the intricacies of creating the finest of wines. Isn't that right, Torgo? Didn't you want to hear about all that lore about the wines? I know you did. Yes, you did, you little booger. Blah, blah, blah. Like, look at the, the details on the, 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 the rocks and stuff. That's what it's really is actually getting me, is like, 
is how the, good the environments look. The foliage, the the crags, and the shadows on the rocks look fucking crazy. Am I going the right way? I thought I was, and then suddenly I feel like I'm not. I'm definitely not. Where the fuck am I? Is there a chest out here? This is where I fought the Benedicta earlier. Damn it! The road here cuts through Lorbert's Pass to Cairn Northern. You're not thinking of heading that way, are you? Indeed I am, really not! Suck my balls, you will! If the Royalists were looking to take the care, they'd have posted sentries to prevent any unwelcome surprise. At least I would have. Well, you should know. Yeah, so, I mean, Sid was clearly, at some point, right, part of, part of, uh, the Woliters or whatever, right? Their captain commander. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> See, told you. What are the Royalists thinking? Why take a stronghold they've no chance of holding? When they've no intention of holding it. The king is up to something. The king? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? This is one of his majesty's cunning stunts. And he sent his best to execute it. Referring to Barnabas. Oh, hello there. Meteorite. That seems quite valuable for crafting. Yeah! I'll tell your lady you try. Yeah. <laughs> Care Norman's. Hard not to crack, even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. <laughs> They're all gonna fucking die today! Hmm. I'm gonna get the... Upgrade my Phoenix shift. Increase the distance I can shift. Much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life for a handful of outcasts? If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They'd have my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want... is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is... I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. Hmm. Uh, Admirable. This Benedicta. Here we go. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. Hey. Hmm? Okay, real quick, stop by back here, check for any shit. They do not appear to have anything new, though I can upgrade Best my traveler's band, as well as my wolf sash. All right, where we go. Karen Orvent, once used as a stronghold, the Holy Empire has 
says so disk garrisoned this strategic position along the neutral crystal belt and now employs it in the training of Imperial Army recruits. Has fallen. <gasps> Sex? The eastern territories all but belong to the orcs. I'll have my men ready to depart by noon. Don't bother. But what of the mines? Without adamantite. The blight would have engulfed the mines ere long. Besides, you already have your orders. Yes, my liege. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. The land starved of the ether that gives it life. And as the fringes fade, the people flock to the Mother Crystals, desperate for their blessing. The war we wage for possession of that blessing, it breaks us from within, hastening us to our own destruction. And so you do what must be done. It just gives me very Lark scene vibes. The dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. The world must be restored, and I will see it so. You might have already had Sidolphus not betrayed us. Him again. Lust you still for his embrace? But... of course not. My liege. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You. And you alone. I remember well the day you first entered these halls. Your pale hand pressed into his, as if he would never let go. That... that was a long time ago. Yours is the only hand I need. Now... and always. I will. Soon, my dear. Soon all will know whose hand it is that keeps them from falling into the darkness. Hold me, my leash. Never let me go. Grab me by the tit! Damn, that was some good hot sex that night. With my titties constantly conveniently censored. One of our sentries has failed to report, my lady. Your orders? Pull the men back inside the care, Geralt. He is here, then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. Mirror. Mm. So you've come for me after all. <laughs> the dog fit in there too. Damn, dark as fuck, boy. Headwind. That's a nice trick. Cool. You'll have to teach me sometime. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good spot to end things here for now. She looks like it's about to hit the fan here. Oh man, this game is really good, dude. I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's very, uh, very engaging story. Loving the, uh, God, the, the acting is just, you guys are acting out of their fucking minds. Everyone's so fucking convincing and believable. But yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on with the, uh, icon of fire here. Similarly, is Barnabas an, I, does he, is he, uh, or sorry, the, the icon of fire, I mean the dominant fire. Uh, I wonder if Bar Barnabas is also a dominant. I don't know. It's interesting because the game's not really like telling us right off the bat who like, well, the dominant of this is this and the dominant of this is that. And the, you know, it's like, it's sort of like, 
kind of w leaving it so you figure it out as the story progresses, which I kind of like. I, I like the mystery of it a bit more. Granted, we already, again, like I, I knew Garuda for Benedicta only because of all the promotional material for it. But uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode and are enjoying this series as much as I am. Uh, if you are, please do leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready. We come a Picky Penguin aboard the SLP, where the day is always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.